a Winnipeg man fought a photo enforcement ticket and won. Daniel Mercer challenged the fine he got for speeding in a school zone. And as CTV's Josh Crabb reports, he's now suggesting other Winnipeggers think twice before paying up. I waited a year and a half for this moment. I knew I was going to win. It was April 2015. Daniel Mercer remembers driving on Harrow Street south of McMillan Avenue to visit family. Weeks later, he got an unpleasant surprise in the mail, a $299 fine for speeding in a school zone. I said to my wife, I'm sure I wasn't speeding through that school zone. And then when I looked it up on a Google Maps Street View, I was very surprised to see that I was correct. Mercer was accused of going 49 kilometers per hour in a 30 zone. The school zone signs aren't visible in the photo. He doesn't deny his car's the one captured by photo radar equipment, but he says he'd already passed through the school zone when the camera caught him speeding. And you can see my car is way out of the school zone. I'm not in there. Mercer gathered his own photo evidence to fight his case, using the photos from Google Maps to show where the school zone ends. That's the exact match to that one. And if you go to that one, there's the ending sign. He brought the photos to his court date last week and showed the judge. It worked. The Crown stayed the charges against Mercer. His ticket tossed out. Yeah. I honestly wanted to throw my arms up and just go, woo, you know, like. But I just held my composure, got up and said, that's it, good, and I left. Mercer wonders how many more people may be innocent. Google Maps Street Views. Make sure you double check, do your due diligence, make sure you look. He says he fought the case on principle and not because he didn't want to pay the fine. If I had just trusted the fact, oh, well, I guess they said I'm speeding, I'm speeding, pay it. No, I knew I wasn't and I looked it up and I was right. Mercer had to take time off work to go to court. While he wishes he didn't have to go in the first place, having the ticket tossed made it worthwhile. Josh Crabb, CTV News, Winnipeg.